Um, as Sabine mentioned, my name is Daisy and I'm currently an accountant at PJI and I'm also a TAPA ambassador. So I'm here today to share with you all my experience with TAPA Institute and how they helped me in my journey to becoming a CPA and also landing my first public accounting job. I met Sabine back in 2018 through her internal audit internship. Fast forward to today, it is now known as the Audit Leadership Program. Unlike when I took this program, it is now 100% aligned, which honestly is amazing. Um, when I first started in the program, I was as green as they come. And what I mean by that is that I was in my last semester of my undergraduate program. I had little to no experience when it came to the industry. So everything I was being exposed to at TAPA was relatively new to me. The way the program is structured, you're exposed to both the conceptual and hands-on learning. The conceptual aspect of it all, um, you're learning it through Lunch and Learns, which for you all would be through the leadership courses. The topics range from the fundamentals of internal auditing to different stages of an engagement, to building relationships and learning how to communicate effectively. For someone like me, who again, I was just starting, I was pretty much a very shy person. I would get nervous a lot. I had trouble talking to individuals above me. Little things like this really helped me out a lot, especially to start off my career. But I would have to say my favorite part of the whole entire program was the hands on experience, being able to take the concepts I just learned and apply to real life projects and case studies. I found myself developing transferable skills and just adding to my tool set. I remember working on a construction investigation and this was my first big project on my own. And I just remember like not knowing where to start, but with everything I was learning at TAPA, I found myself just developing new skills. I, start, I started to learn how to analyze data, how to extract important information from a pool set of data. Because when you're in the audit world, clients will give you a ton of information, a ton of invoices, documents, stuff you might not even need. And at Tap TAPA, I learned how to, you know, ignore the noise and just focus on the important information. I also learned how to think outside of the box. And I think that's something that's crucial in our industry. You know, I feel like sometimes as auditors or accountants, we're seen to just be, just to stay in this spot box. But what really like takes you to the next level is being able to just think outside of the box, think differently, bring a different perspective, which is what I was learning at TAPA. But I also learned how to develop the right questions. I and I know Robert talked about this earlier on. And I this is one thing that really like resonated with me because again, when I first started at TAPA, I would just listen, 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 and maybe just say yes, 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 yes. But then it came to a point where I was just like, okay, let, let me think this through. And you know, going through what I was working through, going through the information and just being able to develop the right questions, but also be able to research those questions myself and find an answer. And if I and if I still didn't have the answer, that's where I'm going to, you know, whoever in the department going to Sabine and just trying to find out the information that I need to get where I need to get to. So all these little things just like added up. I was learning how to compile reports, how to put together reports, how to do present in front of management, legal counsel. So this program to me was very, very beneficial. It was exposing me to so much of the industry that I don't think I would have been able to do in any other internship or any other program. So once I was ready to apply to jobs, like I said, I started when I was an undergrad and I eventually stuck with the program throughout my master. So finally it was the career fair at my school. And I remember applying to eight different companies, um, one of which was a big four, all the rest were mid-size, like BDO, with them, you name them. And I thought to myself, okay, I'm definitely gonna get a call back at least from like one company. I have like a solid background, like I'm a 4.0 GPA student, like uh, at least one company. I was ecstatic when I got a call back from all eight companies. And when I was sitting there in the interview room with them, with management, partners, they were all very much excited about my experience. They they liked the idea that, you know, I had been exposed to work papers, that I had created work papers, that, you know, I worked on an investigation on my own. They just liked my experience. And I remember sitting there and I was, I was just so confident because I can talk about every single bullet point that was there. 
with very much confidence. And I also remember sitting there thinking, I prepped with Sabine. You know, she had asked me the hard questions already. So I was I I was a hundred percent ready. I went all in and then fast forward, I ended up getting an offer from all eight companies. I ended up going with with them, a mid-sized firm who was mostly focused on startup companies and technology companies, which I found a great interest in. And once I started my career in public accounting, I remember every time I was sitting with a manager or, you know, a partner, everybody regarded to me as top of my class or being above, you know, above everybody else and my above my peers. And the reason was because what they were being exposed to now, I had been exposed to a year ago with Tapa. So to me, it, it opened up the opportunity and the time to be able to learn new skills and be exposed to new opportunities, new jobs, new clients, because I had already seen it. So right now I'm enhancing my like my skills, but at the same time, I'm also being exposed to new opportunities and learning you know, new concepts, new skills, meeting a lot of people. They weren't scared to put me in front of a client because they knew I had that background experience so it honestly i wouldn't be here right now speaking about tapa if i didn't believe in what they had to offer and they really did help me when it came to starting my career like i said i was as green as they come but just to pivot they also helped me in my cpa journey so i had about a month before i started working and i started studying for the cpa exam at first i had no idea what i was doing i just Bob Becker and I thought that was it. That's all I have to do. But that wasn't the case. I ended up going through um, TAP. I went through Sabine. I took the skill assessment. They helped me decide what part I'm going to be taking first based on my on my background, based on my skills, my strengths, my weaknesses. Um, they helped me with a study plan. You know, like the assessment itself was pretty like streamless. I, I it was amazing. And then I did end up having, I believe, like three tutoring sessions. And the one thing I have to say about that is I was the type of person who was like, well, I'm a 4.0 GPA student. I know how to study. I know how to take exams. But when it came to CPA exam, I was completely wrong because the exam was going to kick my butt, right? And once you guys sign up for two day sessions, the one thing that became like a game changer for me was the one liners. I have to say any of the exam, any of the certifications you take, it's not about memorizing answers. It's not about memorizing questions. It's about knowing the concepts and understanding it because you're going to get asked the same question in 10 different forms but it's going to be the same core concept and through tapa i was able to gain those studying skills that i did not learn in school and i was able to utilize them throughout my whole process in the cpa journey but not only that i am a person who suffers with anxiety and i get very much anxious and i add a lot of pressure to myself so the CPA exam had me in a place where I was making silly mistakes because I was just too in my head. And through TAPA, through Sabine, I worked with them also to, you know, learn new stress management skills, learn new, all, all of these little techniques that really helped me. And I'm happy to say I passed my exam all four parts the first time around. And I, again, I wouldn't be here if I did not believe in the services provided. And if we can take anything from this, it's definitely invest in yourself and this is one way you could definitely do it. So again, thank you, Sabine. And it was an honor to be here.